Welcome to In The Box Seat, I'm Ray Fewings and of course we're into the Nationals this Thursday night. The National Sprint and the National Distance Heats are being run here at Angle Park. All the good dogs are in, it should result in a fantastic night. Now I'm going out on a bit of a limb, I won't be popular for saying this, but I think Satanic Cash can be beaten in the heat of the Nationals. He's drawn box one and I fancy that what price Pete will get across him in the early stages and there'll be a bit of a jam up. Let's hope the champ can settle down in a reasonable position and produce that uh, electrifying burst at the finish. But I wouldn't be at all surprised if what price Pete sets up a big lead. He uh, broke the 35 here the other night over the 600. If, and it's a big if, if he can run the 731, he just might be a bit of a surprise packet in the distance. But I can't wait for Thursday night. We keep waiting for something to beat Satanic Cash and he keeps coming up trumps every time. The sprint, well, it's going to be a fantastic race as well, and uh, the box draw may well decide that too. Now, there's also a bit happening in the coursing. Uh, on Sunday, uh, a newcomer from a litter by Big Daddy Cool from Bar Crusher appeared uh, by the name of uh, uh, Daddy Cool, or Cool, after the soccer player, and was most impressive. So it looks as though Bruce Lillman's, uh, lucky Bruce Lillman, has struck the jackpot again with another good litter out of that good bitch Bar Crusher. There's no doubt about it, the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. Now racing nationally, we're at the Gardens this week for the final of the Laurie Helion Memorial Maiden. That's on August the 5th. Uh, now don't forget the faces in the crowd from Chase's Restaurant. We had a terrific group in the other night from the Corfball uh, group. Uh, make sure you have a look at grsa.com.au. If your dial appears there, give the uh, board a ring and it'll be dinner for two uh, at their expense. So... Every week, make sure you have a look at that on Chase's Restaurant. Now, what's on in Adelaide this week? Well, it's pure and simple. The Nationals, Thursday night here at Angle Park. Get down here and uh, it should be a fantastic night of greyhound racing. Now, the Honeys have done their tips for the week and on Wednesday they've, they've found one, Nyasaland Lass. Now, doesn't win often, uh, but it's been running pretty well of late, showing a lot more early box speed. And they think that in very weak opposition on Wednesday that she's a good thing. I tend to agree with them. That's race five, number six, Nias, the land lass. The other one they've gone for is race eight, number one, Long Gully Libby. Now, the Herndon Kennel, they're just producing outstanding greyhounds at the moment. They're all running well. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the, uh, the Herndon Kennel climbs right up the ladder as far as... Uh, having the, uh, the brood bitch of the year and also the most uh, winners for a small kennel this season. And on Thursday night, the Honeys go for race five, number one, Tesla. Tesla, of course, is uh, from the Harness Kennel, sort of a, a dark duo look-alike. He's a uh, similar purchase. He's won a good few races in Melbourne. He's come over here. He went 29-9 in his first run, and he's drawn uh, well again on Thursday night. And they also go for race eight, number seven. They think uh, Calden Mayhem can win the uh, distance championship. I thought he's pretty disappointing the other night in the sprint. I know that's not his caper, but uh, just didn't get going the way that I thought he should. So I'm here to be proved wrong in that national distance race on Thursday night. The Honeys, they've got faith in Calden Mayhem. They think he'll be uh, trumps. Certainly the way he went at Gawler the other day, if he produces that, then he'll certainly put in a, a huge run. I better give you the first fours from the Honeys. Uh, race 5 on Thursday night, 1, 6, 3 and 5. Race 8, 7, 1, 5, 3. Now I've got a few to watch. Wednesday, race 9, number 3, Long Gully Bob. By gee, this was impressive at Gawler the other uh, day. He only got to the front leaving the back straight and he's run 30 and 62 uh, by Skull Murphy out of the Good Bitch Blue Palace and I think he's won right out of the box. Race 10, number 7, Gypsy Spy I've gone for. Uh, provided she gets a trouble-free run, we know she can run 29.90, and I think she'll make short work of them on Wednesday. Now, Thursday night, I've got a few. Race two, number eight, Crafty Lucy. Leanne Fagan's got a new team of dogs from Melbourne, and they're not bad. This dog has won at the Meadows over the 600, and is opposed to a moderate field. Uh, race five, number one, Tesla. Well, everyone will be going for him. And I've gone for race eight, number five, What Price Pete. I'm probably the only one, apart from Mike Giniotis, who thinks he can win his heat of the national distance. Now, special guest, one of the grand ladies of Greyhound Racing in South Australia, coming up next, Karen Whittles. Yes, in the box seat tonight, our special guest is Karen Whittles. I think has done uh, far more for Greyhound Racing than just about anyone else, purely uh, with the number of outstanding Greyhounds that she's bred over the years. Welcome, Karen. 
Hello. Yeah, it's good to be here. Now, you've been one of our leading trainers for a long, long time. You've scaled your team down a bit, but it's the breeding area that has been so impressive in recent times. And your dogs go all over Australia and they win everywhere. Yeah, they seem to do okay. Um, well, they do better than okay. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just, you know. <laughs> um, no, we've got a lot of young pups at the moment. Uh, we've got about 18 on the property. Um, so we're virtually concentrating more on the breeding side of it. We've only got three in work at the moment. You don't have any trouble selling your pups so that they go on the, the net or in the advertise and uh, they're gone straight away? Yeah, they normally go fairly quick. Um, we've got quite a few clients that do kind of buy up before we mm. advertise, you know. But no, we've usually had no problem selling them. Um, they've performed okay. So, you know, I guess mm. the writing's on the board and just hopefully they keep going. We've had winners everywhere, haven't you, including Wentworth Park and Melbourne and all that sort of thing. What's been the best of them that you've bred or sold? Oh, heavens, that's, that's, that's just too hard to yeah. answer. There's been so many, you know, so uh, it's very, very hard to answer that one. You mm. know, I, I start to lose track. Mm. I really do. Well, it's been a few years, hasn't it? How many years uh, have you been in the Greyhound game? Too many. About <laughs> 40. <laughs> <laughs> Too many. That's not the answer we're looking for. <laughs> no, roughly about 40 years, I'd say. Mm. You must have been a slip of a girl then, back then. Well, we started out with Betty Brown. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. so... They were good days with Betty Brown too because uh, she was a very good trainer and uh, Chari Sparu is the, the major dog we, we recall for her, but she was she had a lot of good dogs. Yeah, she did. And she, as you said, she, she knew her dogs and she was a very good trainer. Mm. So you learnt from her? Yeah, I did actually. I mm. did. We used to spend quite a few weekends up there helping out and, you know, she taught us the ropes and between that and ro watching the wrestling, that was her favourite thing. The wrestling? Uh, yeah, she the loved wrestling. It. She loved the wrestling. So who was, who was her wrestler? Oh, any of them. It wouldn't matter. Right? It wouldn't matter. As long as she could watch wrestling of a Sunday afternoon, she was happy. <laughs> well, there's a hidden side to Betty Brown there that we didn't know much about. <laughs> you don't wrestle yourself, I, I oh, gather. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I reckon you'd be able to slam uh, Mike. I reckon he'd, he'd go down pretty quickly. <laughs> Maybe some days. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great partnership too, you and Mike Whitholz. He's been involved at the uh, at the sticky end with the administration and uh, with committees and that. It's uh, you don't get so much fun out of that. No, it can be a bit uh, mind-boggling sometimes, you know, and you, you you kind of scratch your head and you think, well, God, you know, what's going to happen? But mm. Yeah, I think you're in you're in it for the love of it, so you just you just go along with it and just hope that everything works out as it should. Mm. And you've been involved mostly with Gawler, who you live up in that area, and you've stuck to the Gawler track over the years. Yeah, we're out at Lewiston. That's always been a favourite of ours, and I think the dogs tend to show that sometimes too. They mm. sent, they do tend to go better at Gawler, um, but. You know, it's close, it's it's very friendly, it's um, more of a country feel about it, I suppose. Mm. So, yeah, You'd be happy that they're having more meetings there now. The Friday's been very successful. They have been. Yeah, it is good, but like volunteer-wise, it mm. starts to get wear a bit thin after a while, but uh, no, they do, a, they do a good job. Yeah, I noticed a few of the committee in the uh, in the bar and in the sandwich bar, and everyone pitches in. Yeah, they do. They mm. do. Well, you've got to. Mm. You've got to. Let's get back to the dogs. Uh, you still must enjoy training them, and you've got a couple of nice ones at the moment. Blue Suede, if only he was a good beginner. That's his downfall, and he does like to get off a little bit. He's uh, drawn box two tonight, which I don't think will suit him. But he's a funny dog. If he can, if he can get up close enough and, and get a good look at the bunny, well, then he'll take off. But mm. if he gets you know, shuffled back in the field, he's like a lot of dogs. He's just content to just stay there. Mm. <laughs> and he's a brother to Set the Drag, who is similar is showing a lot of promise too. Yeah, they're not going bad, actually. It's funny because the three in that litter that are going okay, they're all blues. Mm. And the litter she's just had recently, there's nine blues. And oh, that's blues. good news for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk about the brood bitches. You've had brood bitch of the year, excuse me. Was, is she the, the mother of them all or does it go back further? Um, yeah, virtually she was she was the mother of, of the lot we've got now. Um, mm. And then you've got um, Classic Concept. She was out of lot excuse. Um, Cabernet Angel was a ripper at one stage too. Yeah, she was a good brew bitch. Very, she threw a lot of winners. Um, mm. That line just keeps throwing on. Mm. You know, it's a good line. Well, let's get a free plug in before we finish. What are the pups you've got, and uh, are there any for sale? Oh yes, they'll be for <laughs> sale. <laughs> there's Cosmic Rumble Snow Excuse. Mm. They're uh, six weeks old, and there's seven of them. And then we have Collision. Um, classic concept, mm -hmm. and there's 11 of them. 
11. Yeah, collisions, I like them. They, they're good, early, fast, early dogs. Yeah, I quite like the collisions. We had, we've only had one litter, but virtually every one of them you know, got to the track and they all won, so mm. I, I can't fold him. Mm. Can't see yourself giving the game up in the near future? Some days yes, some days no. Um, probably not. Probably not. We'll just keep plodding along the way we are. We've cut back on our racing dogs, so while we're getting enjoyment out of it, we'll just keep doing it. Been a pleasure having you as our guest on In The Box Seat tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Karen Whitholse uh, with us uh, on In The Box Seat and uh, been in the game a long, long time and uh, been an outstanding representative of uh, the ladies in the sport, given the sport a great name. Don't forget, all your racing information grsa.com.au and don't forget to get on to 5RPH on Wednesday mornings for the hot dogs for breakfast at 8 o'clock. Good luck on National Night on Thursday night.